Hey Gemini, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name is Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our weekend reading for Friday, March 19th through Sunday, March 21st. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. The heart of your reading, we have the Ten of Wands reversed, releasing a burden. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands. What sort of burden is Gemini releasing? Hermit in reverse. I don't know if you've um, if you've enjoyed your solitude. You might be ready to rejoin society in some way or um, come out of your shell, so to speak. They're definitely giving me like hermit crab vibes here. Just as an analogy, <laughs> don't worry. Um, hermit crabs, you know, they're, they're in their shell and maybe you're ready to, uh, to size up. Another hermit crab analogy. Um, as I understand it, as hermit crabs grow, they will toss out their home, the shell that they've uh, chosen to live in, and they'll go search out, a, uh, search out, seek out a, a bigger shell. Yeah, that's what it feels like here. You're... Your challenge is the Nine of Cups in reverse. You might, you might not be clear of what you're wishing for. What do you want? What are you hoping for? What are you dreaming of? Either that or you might have something very specific in mind that you would love to have or experience, but the reversal could mean, I don't think it's possible for me. That could be the, the burden that you're working on releasing. Your focus is on the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Feels like a change in your routine. Your method, the way you go about something. Uh, like a strategy, a method. In the recent past, we have the Hierophant which is um, an institution of sorts. And we have the Five of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck, which seems to allude to abandoning something that felt permanent or inescapable, like it would always be there in your life. I wonder if the Hierophant is connected to this Ten of Wands energy for you like a burden you thought you'd never be able to release. You thought you'd never be out from under this. You'd be stuck in the same shell and you'd never get to grow into a bigger shell. The energy of the environment is the hanged man. Um, so the universe is saying yes, you're going to grow, but don't don't rush it. <laughs> don't push yourself too quickly. Take your time with it. There's still like this, this process that you're working on, this routine or this strategy is still, um, it's still being developed. So don't put the cart before the horse here. Figure out the strategy and then move forward. Show me the near future for Gemini. How does this story unfold? 
Ace of Swords reversed. For me, the Ace of Swords can be a yes or no. Um, not in this position for, as an answer to the question, um, uh, if you know what I'm talking about there. If you don't know what I'm talking about there, it doesn't matter. Um, it, it might be that you, you're going to ask a question and you will get a no as a response. Um, or vice versa, someone might ask something of you and you'll tell them no. It can also be a lack of clarity. But then another possibility is that it's a lie. Give me more on the Ace of Swords reversed. Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles is someone who would prefer to be alone. Um, make their own decisions about how to spend their money, make their own decisions about how to spend their time. So that could be you or that could be someone in your situation. Saying like, uh, no thanks, I don't want to hang out. Um, I got my own thing going on. If it is a lie, it might have something to do with um, someone lying about how much money they have, someone lying about um, like how successful they are, like boast a boastful sort of lie, um, an exaggeration. If that's the case, it has something to do with, like, uh, materialism, feeling like they they want everyone to believe that they have, like, the best name brand and um, the designer clothes, I don't know, designer handbags. Spirit, why, why is this person relevant to Gemini's situation? King of Cups reversed, Four of Cups. Either you or they. No, this is two people, right? Yeah? Okay. Someone is the King of Cups character. Someone is the Four of Cups character. King of Cups character is pouring out his heart. Someone who doesn't typically talk about his feelings or their feelings. Um, someone who has a newfound sense of emotional certainty and wants to talk about it. The Four of Cups character is not interested in hearing any of it. Like, why are you telling me all of this? Why do you think I care? So I think that the Nine of Pentacles is connected to the Four of Cups character. Like, why do you think I care? Like, I'm over here just enjoying my life of luxury and, and you're talking about your feelings. Like, why? I don't know, I hope this is making sense for you guys because I'm not sure how it connects to your whole... Um, hermit crab situation, growing into a bigger shell. I mean, King of Cups Reverse is definitely someone who's coming out of his shell. Unless, unless something that you're talking about, ah, okay, okay. 
See, I didn't want to let it go because I'm like, why? This doesn't make sense. Maybe something that you are getting off your chest has to do with this being you in the past, like not being receptive to anything emotional or um, love opportunities. And what does this lack of clarity, nine of pentacles, have to do with it? Give me one more on the nine of pentacles. Page of wands. Curiosity, interest, intrigue. Exploring desire. Here's a thought. Nine of Pentacles is has a, a connotation of expansion to it. Like achievement. Um, accepting abundance into your life. In order to accept abundance in your, into your life, you need to make room for it. You need to maybe get a bigger shell. So this could be connected to your energy as well. Of course, it's your reading. It would make the most sense if it's your energy. All right, moving on. Let's see your surprise energy. What's going to impact the situation that Gemini doesn't see coming? Judgment, revival. A decision to br breathe new life into a situation. Deeming it worthy of revival. Your hopes and fears, we have the two of wands reversed. What if I find myself at the crossroads and I don't know which direction to go? What if I poke my head out of the shell and I look around and there's no bigger shells and I just go back in? The end result, we have the King of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Cups reversed and the Knight of Wands reversed. Okay. Since the Knight of Wands reversed is showing up with the King of Wands, I'm not worried about inst instability. Sometimes this can be like in again, out again sort of energy, and I don't want you to have to deal with anything like that. But it, this stabilizes it. The King of Wands is like, um, I feel comfortable letting loose, getting crazy every once in a while, letting my passions get the better of me every once in a while, being spontaneous, but I'm still in control of things when I do that. Queen of Cups reversed is prioritizing your own emotional needs, um, taking as much time inside the shell as you need to rest and recharge and rejuvenate. And then the Eight of Wands is lots of forward momentum and communication. This is like the best of both worlds. The wands energy is getting out of your shell and exploring and having fun and letting loose. And the queen of cups reversed is retreating back into the shell to recharge. And then eight of wands is like, just keep the lines of communication open and all will be well. Let's see your advice. <laughs> Seven of Cups. Okay, as advice, this says you have more options in front of you than you, th you might think. Um, if you feel locked into one particular path, you're wrong about that. There are a variety of ways that your situation could proceed, all of which would be positive. So get creative with your thinking um, explore emotionally, 
different possibilities as to how you could move your story forward. This is saying that the universe is presenting you with options. The only reason they're presenting you with those options is so that you'll consider them and decide which one resonates the most with you at this stage in your development. Um, you want to stay in the shell you've been in, that's going to be one of your options. You might, you might not have to pick the first shell that you see as a replacement. You might be like, oh, I'm going to walk around without a shell for a while. I'm really extending this hermit crab metaphor, if you haven't noticed. But sometimes they do that. They'll live without a shell for a little while um, while they're in search of where they want to settle down next. So explore your options while you're in this phase of um, stretching your legs. Gemini, I hope that helped. Have a great weekend. I will see you back on Sunday. I'm going to start releasing weekly videos. This coming Sunday will be the first episode of weeklies. Um, new plans for the channel to come. Um, a week from tomorrow, I hopefully am going to do a start a start. I'm going to start doing um, live streams every Saturday. So if all goes according to plan, watch out for an announcement. I'll, I'll let you know when it's certain. Um, but my plan is not tomorrow, but next Saturday. I'm going to start doing um, live streams every Saturday. Eventually, just to let you know plans for the future for the channel, I will also be adding monthlies, um, possibly for April, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, Gemini, take care. See you on Sunday. Bye.